What is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, if you're new here, my name is Josh, better known as Josh's POV from the channel name. I guess you guys can probably read if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, this is my Quattro Sport. This is an Audi TT Mark 1 and I have plenty of videos on the channel of this car. So if you are interested in what you see in this video, you can go over to the channel, click subscribe as well whilst, whilst you're there because it is free. It's free real estate. And you can also watch plenty of other videos on this and yeah, and the shenanigans that we get up to. So I've mentioned in previous videos, people really don't know, seem to know much about this car. Not this car in particular. A lot of people know about this car because I've made videos on it. I'm talking about the Quattro Sport. The Quattro Sport is, is, is one of them cars that people really don't even know exist. And in this video, I want to sort of show everything that, oh, that's an R33. That's nice. Sorry, I, I'm, I, yeah. You know you're a car guy when you get distracted with like any nice looking this car, as I mentioned, is my Quattro Sport. And some people don't even know this exists. There is a Facebook page that I'm a part of, and the Quattro Sport Owners Club Facebook page. And there's people in there that still don't know what a Quattro Sport is. You know, people just don't understand what the Quattro Sport is. But today, we're gonna fix that. Here we are, boys. Here is the Audi TT Quattro Sport. I apologize if it is a little bit windy. It is a little bit windy today. Um, but yeah, here she is. This is my Quattro Sport. This is a 2005 Mauritius Blue Audi TT Quattro Sport. And there was only 1,165 of these that were ever made for the European market. There was only 800 that actually came to England um, and this is 812 this this number is yeah well yeah this is the 812th one that they produced and it was Mauritius blue with obviously the sport seats but I'll get into that in a minute here she is in all of her glory um, as I mentioned or I might have cut it out already uh, the only real difference on how this comes sort of like standard is the lip on the front you could just see I don't know yeah this lip just there uh the wheels they actually come uh silver which i am actually tempted to go back to uh i do now have an aloe wheel sponsor so shout out to shout out to lucas if he's watching this and also the brakes the actual uh brake calipers themselves they should be yellow excuse me they should be red uh, but i painted them yellow because i want it to be different and edgy start with the outside I'm gonna give you a quick walk around uh, so you guys can see how it exactly looks. So Quattro Sport, as mentioned in previous videos, comes with a honeycomb grille, um, the V6 Valance or whatever it's called. Uh, and the telltale signs that you know it's a Quattro Sport is not the fact that it says Quattro Sport on because that's aftermarket, is the black alloy tips. So that's a dead giveaway. People do upgrade the exhaust on these and they actually get rid of the black tips, but I don't really understand why you would do that because well, it's the only model of the Audi TT Mark 1s that actually has the black tips. So yeah, when I do eventually upgrade the exhaust on this, it's gonna have black tips anyway, so. Right, and then on the V6, I think the V6 has this. Um, but yeah, the V6 and the Quattro Sport has this. You can buy aftermarket ones of these, but they just don't look as good. Um, these, you can tell that are the OEM, just the way they fit. But yeah, you can buy aftermarket ones, but again, just not as good. So very sort of similar to the rest of the Audi TTs on the back, apart from probably them two points. Uh, moving around to the sort of the side, you've got this here. So these are the rear spats as they're called. So these are plastic. I believe but you can buy car, not carbon fiber you can buy oh you can buy carbon fiber the osir which are like uber rare so yeah i'm not even gonna say they exist because i'm pretty sure they don't anymore but yeah you can buy fiberglass ones of these but again it's not quite oem so these just these alone are like worth 
nearly 200 quid i think and that's fiberglass i think so as i mentioned the wheels um yeah so they should be gray not this gray obviously like an alloy color and then this face here uh, should be diamond cut which i believe i'm actually going to go back to um to keep it nice and oem these are the wheels very nice pain in the ass to clean as you could probably tell it does have this so these come as standard so these i believe match the top don't know what color this is i'll put it on screen i've had to google it before but yeah i can't remember because my memory is rubbish moving around to the front you've got these nice little slit things uh at the bottom that are only present on the 3.2 and which is the v6 or the vr6 or whatever you want to call it and the quattro sport yeah i apologize for how dirty the car is the dirt uh, the car is very dirty this is the front obviously you've got the xenon headlights that's why you sort of got these washer alien things here people call them aliens because i think on the audi tt there have to be like some kind of like special conditions uh for it to actually spray the lights only difference with other quattro sports that you might go see uh, compared to mine is this little infill panel here so i've got a shortened plate that's definitely legal uh officers if you're watching i promise so yeah i've got this like infill panel that normally uh, you see on like american cars because they're not required to have a front plate but i absolutely love this infill panel it just sort of like smooths everything out um because it looks kind of weird with everything recessed and like i said i wanted to have a bit of a smaller plate i really do like the front of this car though you have obviously the triple sort of line grill uh on there and again that sort of matches with the bottom and then you have the honeycomb um you got you can get some grills where it's like honeycomb and then honeycomb across and then honeycomb that does look nice but then it sort of makes the middle bit look out of place but yeah moving back around to back to the side the obvious things obviously about this car if you do spot one of these in the wild is going to be the black roof but if it's a whole full black car then look for other things that i've mentioned obviously the the valance at the back um the black tips these wheels as well uh, you'll be able to see on the car hopefully there'll be um these wheels so you'll be able to tell and if not if you can't tell you can peep obviously inside the car which i'm about to show you in a second and see the differences so yeah that's the outside of it let's move on to the interior Again, I'm going to show you guys the whole of this car because I want you guys to see what the Quattro Sport actually is uh, so you guys can actually recognise one again in the wild. So, door cards, pretty much, well, it is exactly the same as a normal TT, so nothing special there. Uh, moving on to the interior, obviously you've got these beautiful seats. Um, however, you can get sports seats, which I will put on screen now. I think there were a no option replacement. Not too sure as to why you'd want to do that. So when I actually bought this car, I didn't really know much about it. I was sort of in the market for a TT and the guy that sold me this sort of just messaged me saying, look, thinking of uh, selling this, tell me what you think. But yeah, this me sort of buying a Quattro Sport sort of fell into my lap and I'm so glad I found a car well i didn't even find a car he found me i was so glad the guy that messaged me actually had the the sports seats because these absolutely make the car they look so beautiful so yeah passenger seat this is what you would see uh, as a passenger so another giveaway is the quattro sport you can see on here but breakers actually do take these off and like sell them to people so you can actually get tricked yeah that's really cool obviously says the quattro and the sport underneath which is the car don't really want to have a look in there because it's full of crap you've got this nice little cubbin just at the bottom here again no idea what that's for yeah passenger seat there isn't really much to do in here most of this is sort of the same as the audi tt the normal version anyway so in mine, I actually have the the double cup holder. These, I believe, were an option in maybe some of the later ones. I'm not sure about the, the back story, but yeah, these are mega expensive for what they actually are. They're literally just a cup holder. You've got this for ashtray. Obviously, I don't smoke, so don't really use that at all. And then you've got this, which I like to keep my obviously crap in 
and you've got yeah these three buttons here um, not sure what that one does I think that's like Wi-Fi inside or something uh, you've got your boot release and also your can we see this all right I'm gonna press it ah I can't see it and then you have your infamous TT flap which I replaced the original the original DIN radio in here because the radio is crap uh, and it didn't have Bluetooth but now it has Bluetooth and it's still crap so yeah this as well is just a this is not standard by the way this is by OEM mounts one of my previous sponsors um, but yeah let's move on to the driver's seat So this is what you would see if you were to sit in the driver's seat of a Quattro Sport. Obviously we looked at all this other stuff, it's basically the same as a normal TT. Not really done anything sort of different in here, uh, sort of changed these to blue, you probably can't see them very well but yeah, changed them to blue. Um, they're also the bolts that are used for these little leg things on the side there, also, um, they're also blue. Before I start it up and give it a rev and things like that, let's uh, go in here, we'll press the boot release, and then we'll graciously get out of them beautiful seats, make our way around to the back, and then, without looking at that, <laughs> which is another thing I need to fix because Audi TTs are inherently rusty around here. Ah, bitch, you cut me. Oh. Um, we will just ignore that. We can't, there's no blood. Here in the back is the coolest probably part of the car. Well, maybe second coolest, um, followed on by the seats. We have the seat delete. So yeah, this is the Audi TT Mark 1 Quattro Sport only seat delete. So this is not present on the 3.2s or anything like that. However, there has been others made to look similar to what this is. However, it will never be as good as the Quattro Sport edition, I guess you could say. But yeah, absolutely love this. Needs a good clean up and maybe a of a respray like the most like the rest of the car however she looks good and I like it a lot this part sort of from here backwards is pretty much exactly the same as a, like a normal TT I think other ones come with like this netting um, it is meant to like say TT on or whatever I don't think it's like the official one I really should try and get the official one so it's actually meant for the car that like meant for the quattro sport i think it's slightly different than the other ones however don't quote me on that because i'm not too sure this has been my quad let's try that again so yeah this has been my audi tt quattro sport full walk round so if you guys were ever to come across this car or ones that look similar you can look cool in front of your friends because you can be like, hey, pretend there's friends, your friends here. Hey, friends. That's a Quattro Sport. And they'd be like, oh, how do you know? And then you could say, well, my mate Josh said. And then you could list all the bits that I've said. Um, I'm not losing it. Right, let's get in the car and we'll start the engine and I'll show you guys the dash as well so this is the key exactly the same however I do have this cool thing here by the TTOC if you can see that it's really cool um, yeah. ignore that it's fuel as per usual. What are you mo like? It's just mo just moaning for the sake of it now. Alternator failure. Fantastic. Let's try that again. There we 
there we go. No alternator failure. <laughs> so as you can tell, living with an Audi is fun. This is this is what it's like living with an Audi TT. Normally you can fix problems just by turning the car off and on, which we did. <laughs> Hopefully you have enjoyed this video of a full walk around of my Audi TT Quattro Sport. It's just basically, like I said, this video is just to sort of help you guys out to really understand what an actual Quattro Sport is. If you are unsure as well, still, about how this compares to a, a normal like 225 or 180, I'll leave a link in the description. You guys go to the top right. There's actually a video where I made that I had my Quattro Sport sat next to a 180, Dean's 180, and we went through and really like looks at the differences. If you are potentially looking at getting one of these cars, I would highly recommend it. These cars, I don't believe, have really sort of caught on with regards to like their sort of specialness, if that makes sense. The trick, the, the thing is with this car, because there is a lot of uh, Audi TTs out there and people don't even know that this car even kind of exists like the there is a limited edition version there is a there is a really nice version well i say they're all nice but there isn't no one really knows that this this sort of model exists before i think i told this story in another in another video i met a guy that has a mark one audi tt uh, a v6 so 3.2 vr6 whatever you want to call it and i brought it to a meet and he asked me what this was and I basically told him it was Quattro Sport and he said he's never heard of it. So yeah, there is people out there that don't know what these cars are and that's basically who this video is aimed at and also aimed at the people that if you are in the market for this car, I would say do it because A, you're gonna help drive prices up so my car is worth even more, which is fantastic, so thank you for that. But also because it's a wicked car and we wanna see more of them at shows because a lot of the time people buy these and then just don't drive them, which is criminal. If you buy your dream car, you should drive it. And here's mine, so. I'm gonna get going because it looks like it's gonna rain, as always, in the UK. Um, but I hope you, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Again, huge shout out to anybody that has watched the last video. The last video did insanely well. If you could, do us a favor, leave a like on this video, because it does really help out. I want to at least see 50 likes on the video so if you could do us a favor hit the like button hit the subscribe button as well because it's totally free and also hit the bell icon as well because you'll be notified every single time we upload right enough talking as i said thank you guys so much for watching i've been josh this is my beautiful audi tt butter sport and that was my pov peace out guys What is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to a brand new video. No, it's quite professional, isn't it? Welcome. That's weird. When you post anything on the Quattro Sport, see, when you post any, no. So I mentioned in 